anything but quick but I'll try and keep the answer short because the clock is going so no I had not imagined uh, doing uh, anything that I do uh, this day I had I was uh, actually studying to be a doctor uh, post which I did my uh, graduation in English literature I did my MBA and voila I was in advertising and now I'm here you know uh, you know as a TV host which I uh, is something that I've loved uh, over you know two decades I've tried to hone those skills uh, a little bit of acting a little bit of this and that but whatever I do uh, I had never imagined when I started out that this is it, this is where I would turn up so yeah you, you life is full of surprises and none of you will be doing what you were doing today in the next 10 years I can write it down on paper that's, that's a good thing but right it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Yeah. Then you were telling us a fascinating story about how she was in medical college and uh, ended up doing more, a lot of theatre and a lot of drama and then she realised that she had to pick and she chose, uh, you know, I mean, you realise it's only when you get experience and you get an, uh, a sort of exposure to the different aspects that uh, you can really find your calling and I never thought that I would, um, you know, pick performing arts as, as my career but I did discover aspects of myself during the whole process of undergraduate, uh, you know, experiences, and I, I and I just thought that uh, I would like to spend some more time uh, dwelling on each of those, you know, Namit, and I think it, it was well worth Great it. Great choice. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. So while Miri was, uh, you know, contemplating uh, her career choices in medical theatre, that's fine, but it was never going to be a profession until I felt that it was being taken away from me. So once I graduated and I started working and I was in a job and that's when the writing bit was being taken away from me which is what brought me back. It's like kind of, you know how you, when you fire an arrow, you have to pull it back a little bit. That was, that was deep. Uh, yeah, Nakul, uh, was it always acting for you or was it something else? I knew I always wanted to be in a room with people who are better, more intelligent, smarter than me and I am in one today, so I actually designed this for myself. Very kind. Uh, not really, I mean all of you, wonderful talents, uh, artists in your own rights. Uh, I actually, uh, Namit, always wanted to do something which involved uh, working with people uh, and I wanted my work to reach out to people and I didn't know if it would be by being an actor uh, alone. I was uh, very academically inclined and wanted to uh, do a double masters, eventually I only got one. Uh, thankfully, otherwise the industry would have thought I'm too qualified to do this job. But uh, I still don't know what I want to do. So, uh, whilst the world might know me as uh, the guy who does a lot of television, I also write. I uh, want to direct and that's something which is like a deep passion. I produced something uh, early on in my career. You know, when people said, Abhi, tale actor, banja. Uh, I also do poetry. I am also very, very appreciative of the government, appreciative in quotes. Uh, uh, so I, I try to live my life as a citizen, uh, uh, touching upon different areas, uh, you know, using my art as a means to communicate or express what I'm going through at that particular time. So I don't really know uh, if this is what I wanted for myself. But I'm on a journey to find out and I'm very happy where, where I am right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that is the whole uh, thought that I had while curating this panel is that uh, career re reinvention uh, may be difficult in other streams but in media entertainment uh, it's possible to reinvent yourself uh, right till the day you decide to you know uh, hang up your boots because uh, because there are so many opportunities available to somebody if they are inspired to do what they want to do on that on the day they wake up, you know, on every single day. Uh, Weber, uh, how has it been for you uh, as a creative executive, uh, you know, uh, starting very early uh, and a man of many different talents? Uh, tell us a little bit, tell everyone a little bit about uh, about your job. First of all, I want to go to the context of that. I wanted to be what I am today. वो जो एक एक फिल्म में जो डायलॉग था कि किसी चीज को बहुत शिद्दत से चाहो तो पूरी कायनात आपको उससे मिलाने के लिए यू नो जुट जाती है। मेरे साथ बिल्कुल उल्टा हुआ। My parents were with All India Radio. तो आकाशवाणी के स्टूडियोज में पढ़े होते हुए 
the one thing I did not want to do was to be in media. So Kainat ne bola, aaj beta. So I zara apni power dekhte hain. I studied environmental sciences. I joined the Indian Army. I had to quit the Indian Army. I came out, did an MBA, still thinking I will give it a miss, but here I am, 22, 23 years later, I am accused of being a producer, writer, whatnot. So that's how it kind of played out for me. Um, creative executive uh, became a little bit of a, uh, like it was a corridor of uncertainty for me for about the the first full decade of my career, I actually had no idea what I wanted to do. And ek achhi cheez ye hoti hai, jaise maine bola, I wanted to go to the army. I was in the army. I had to come out. When you start something with a setback, the one thing you become is fearless. Nothing matters. Nothing can scare you. So even if you have momentary anxieties or if you have doubts or whatever it is, you're like anyway. What I wanted, I don't have it. So what more will I lose? So then you take punts on uh, what you could be. And I, I think the first 10 years, like I said, of not knowing what I exactly wanted to be, let me be many things. And by being many things, I realized one life can be as much as one life can be. This business is rather shy to see our business than possible. Possible thing. Absolutely. So that's that's very yeah. much. But there must have been like uh, with as much uh, love, passion, dedication. Like it's the last thing you're going to do. You're going to do. Yeah. Uh, Nakul, uh, you know, you were doing things before you became a TV actor. You are doing things like writing, producing, you want to direct. Uh, what are the qualities, you know, Webber's pointed out a few things, Vinny's pointed out a few things. What are the qualities that you would like to hold on to uh, 20 years from now, when you're doing many, many other things? You know, what, 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 what are your uh, cornerstones for yourself, personal cornerstones? So they both actually said, said actually, something which I completely espouse is uh, being insanely curious about things, about people, about the job you do, about the job they do. I think all of that. And that's what I think keeps you uh, grounded as a learner. Uh, and that's something I look forward to in, in, in every job I do, every interaction I have. So I remember when I was probably like the, the average mean age of this room possibly is in their early 20s. And when I was in my early 20s, I was told that networking is the only way. If you don't industry, you don't have to go from here. You can network, karo, party, karo, logo se milo. And I realized it was the worst advice anyone could sort of give, right? And I went through a couple of years of trying to fit in, feeling not good enough. I was like, oh, I'm not tall enough to be a leading man. Oh, I, I was made, I was told, oh, you have light eyes, you look like a foreigner, how will you get work here? I did a portfolio with, with black lenses. I went through that phase. And I think something eventually flipped. I also had a similar experience as of failure very early on in my life. And after that, you realize that the, I actually found the why of why I wanted to be a creative professional or an actor. That was to be able to engage with people. And I think when I realized that, I realized all these labels that I have a Bollywood actor, a film, a TV, a theatre, those become irrelevant that day. Irrelevant, right? And I wanted to, just like Mini said, I wanted to, like, I wanted to, you know, like a pilot, if you have more flying hours, you're better. I said, I want to be a worker and just get, like, become the best at this. You know, and like today my mission statement is, I mean, it's a, it, I make fun of it, but like it's, it is your mother's favorite TV star. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. But it's not a funny thing for me. It's a genuine thing. I, I, I don't want to be your favorite because your taste and preference will change. But if I get your mother's interest, I would number one get her blessings for the rest of my life, and I would have an audience for the rest of my life, right? Uh, so, I, but like everything comes down to really wanting to see, and what I've learned that. You don't have to network. Be genuinely interested in things. And if you're genuinely interested, is it mera kya fayda hua? Kya milega? Usse zindagi aage bilkul nahi badti. I'll just add one thing to. I don't have many ideals to speak of myself, but uh, um, just to add to this, I feel one of the key ideals which has worked for me is hard work all across. 
because I've been lucky, yes, uh, to get the work that I'm getting, but it's also the hard work. Because at the end of the day, you have to realize that what do you have within you? It's your talent, your skill, and how you can present it. I may not be the best screenwriter in the country. I'm not the best screenwriter anywhere. But I can assure you that I'll be the most hardworking one. I'll work as hard as possible, and that's a cornerstone which has worked for me uh, to continuously work hard, which other people can see eventually. And eventually, I think hard work does manage to beat your luck also. Cut to it. Yeah, it does. Actually, it's, it, it's close to what Weber said, right? I mean, for for uh, what he said was being there is the most important thing. Being there on that particular day. It's not hard work equates to that. Right? You're, just, you're just there, you're getting up, you're doing your thing, and one day it will be luck, fate, networking, you know, all of that. Being committed 100% as Billy said, and then being curious, uh, as Nakul said. This is a t-shirt, this calls for a t-shirt. Yeah, it calls for a t-shirt. Yeah. It does call for a t-shirt. But you know, yeah. it, I mean, I'm sorry to, to sort of, you may have another point you want to make, but we are talking about, uh, you can be anything that you want to be, and what are your options? How do you renew your career options? Um, to my mind, the one thing that you have to do is not be in a hurry to make it. Not be in a hurry to be successful the week after you start. I think everything needs a certain amount of uh, lag time and everyone must have patience. I mean, the Bombay make a struggle chalti hai, does the saal tak there is something to be said about putting in the legwork into anything you do. Today you have so many creators on Instagram who are only um, sort of working because of the app. My point is, don't try and, and you know, be successful with like, oh I already have like a million followers so I am something and I have achieved or that. It's not that, you have to keep at honing your craft and then even if Instagram collapses, you still have that body you, of work. You can be around. You're you around be around. and you can change it. You can be a writer, a screenwriter, a producer, an actor, uh, a TV host, whatever. You know, you can flip between whatever you want to sort of pursue. There, but there, is, there is no retirement age in, in the media. media industry. Martin Scorsese just premiered his film at 80 last night. So. Yeah. And what he said about Kurosawa was fantastic. He said that uh, I am now figuring why Kurosawa said something when he won the Oscar at 83, that I'm just getting, you know, I'm just learning a few things. And he's like, at 80, I'm feeling him because when I was very young and Kurosawa won the Oscar, I was wondering, why is this man talking like this? You know? And why is he saying that? Yeah. And now I'm but, realizing it. Yeah. So, so, so I think what Sudhir Putsudeep said was exactly why uh, I thought that could be a, a wrap for our conversation in that sense because. Uh, uh, everybody has a long way to go. It's a big, wide, open field and careers in media entertainment can be made, broken, renewed over not just years but decades, you know. Uh, and uh, one bad day should not uh, discourage anyone. Just some uh, fun uh, fun stuff, guys. Uh, Webhub, what is more important when you meet someone? Uh, discipline or talent? Um, I won't answer it. 20% talent and 80% temperament. Yeah. So temperament over talent. Yes, it is. But the thing is, uh, what passes off for talent, if it is true and potent, yeah. 10% we bought. Coffee. So we should not uh, over-democratize talent is how I look at it. So if 20% talent and 80% temperament, you're there. Thanks. So you're, you're picking temperament over talent. I, I, it's a mix. You can't it has pick to one. be a mix. No, but everything in this business is about people management. It's yes. about how you treat people and on the way up and on the way, way down. down. And you will meet them on your way down. Let's be very, very sure. So you better treat them well when you're going up. So I so think the next one is for you, Billy. What is more important, hustle or ethics? Oh, ethics any day. Yes. Yeah. The hustle you have to, you know, put in any way. But for me. Someone who has ethics in their work, it's gonna, it's gonna show, and you may reach the end point later, but you're gonna make it. Um, if you were a younger version of yourself, Nakul, I mean, I'm still young, man. Uh, okay, the अपनी बात करो. Okay, Nakul at ten, चलो. If you met Nakul at ten today, what would you tell him? 
<clears throat> Don't judge yourself. Nice. Be easy on yourself. I think uh, I've like my I think my greatest critic is myself, and I've been very very tough on myself. And I I love Nadal, right? So I always like draw parallels. You know, work so hard, but keep pushing. Not celebrate. It's not yet. Not yet. I think it took the pandemic and a few years into life for me to realize that no, no, you got to celebrate every day. You got to celebrate a good day at work with not necessarily an award. You don't need to celebrate life when an award comes or recognition comes. You need to celebrate. And I wish I could tell myself, relax. It's okay. Acting is not enough. I mean, don't take yourself so seriously. Don't do it. Do it, but seriously. I think the best kind of learning that comes with uh, with success, failure, success, failure, success. With the with the pendulum of that, uh, one last question to Sudeep, and then maybe we have a few minutes for questions from the audience. If if everyone's excited about doing this, and I, uh, I see you that you have like multiple interests in life. And as uh, I'm 21 year old, I'm a law student, I'm a filmmaker. I try to write as well. Wow. So right now I'm confused. Like you know, what should I pursue? Where 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 should I go? Like it is like. A uh, hard decision for me. Can I like help you with that? Dasha, where are you from? I'm from Mumbai. Okay, amazing. You had a good education till now. Yeah, yeah. Listen, if I was you, if I was 21, and I've had the privilege of decent education, and I can finish my education and take a sabbatical and travel the country, I'm not saying exotic travel, देश को घूमो, लोगों से मिलो, अलग-अलग कल्चर से परिचित हो, आप जितना इंडिया के बारे में सीखोगे, जितना जुआड़ के बारे में सीखोगे, जितना देश प्रेम के बारे में सीखोगे, I think that will come in handy in anything you choose to do. And it's amazing you have so many interests. I want to be you at 21, man. You are you are amazing, Darshan. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Finish your law degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yes, all the best, Darshan. Parents, Thank best you so advice. Much. <laughs> yes. Who's next? We had a couple of more hands. Yeah, the the gentleman in the yellow yellow shirt. Yeah. We'll get to you as well. We'll Last one. Yeah, you yeah. can't have two gentlemen back to back. Yeah. Okay. So, hello, Shiva. I said, oh, sorry, Nagul. Nagul. Actually, that character has gone into my head now. So, it's in it. It's in everyone's head. Thankfully, it didn't go to my head. I'll be behaving like, hey, is that job there? No, no, because I really love the show. And that's the only show that I've seen in a good way. Shukri. So, sir, I have this question. Like, before entering into media, in your life, there is a lot of people in your career, multiple options, which are commonly happening. तो क्या आपने कभी फेस किया है कि नहीं यार ये करना चाहिए वो करूँ मतलब मीडिया से हट के इंजीनियरिंग हुआ या डॉक्टरी हुआ अभी ऐसा हुआ है कि भाई इसमें क्या करना चाहिए उसमें क्या करना चाहिए थैंक यू आपका नाम क्या है प्रियांश सिन्हा प्रियांश थैंक यू इस सवाल के लिए मेरी जिंदगी में सबसे बड़ा मेरा रोड ब्लॉक जो मेरा खुद का था वो मैं पढ़ाई में बहुत अच्छा था और जब आप पढ़ाई में अच्छे होते हो और आप एक मीडियम मिडिल क्लास फैमिली से बिलोंग करते हो तो आप अपने ऊपर खुद प्रेशर बना लेते हो मेरे पेरेंट्स ने कभी नहीं दिया कि आपको पढ़ाई करनी है और यू हैव टू डू समथिंग यू नो फॉर योर फैमिली एंड क्योंकि मैं पढ़ाई में अच्छा था मैंने मैंने सोचा मैं अमेरिका जाऊंगा और वहाँ पे बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की डिग्री लूँगा एंड मुझे स्कॉलरशिप भी मिल गई मैं दस दिन मैंने वीज़ा भी लग गया था मैंने सूटकेस भी खरीद लिया था जाने के दस दिन पहले मैंने अपने पिताजी से फाइनली हार्ट टू हार्ट बात की और कहा कि पढ़ना तो एक्टर है पर अगर मैंने इसके लिए लोन लेके चार साल पढ़ाई की फिर चार साल और मुझे वो लोन उतारना पड़ेगा मैं अपनी टीम से आठ साल और दूर हो जाऊँगा इस देश से बाहर चला जाऊँगा क्या ये सही होगा ये सर तो कर जो तुझे करना है क्या तू जो पढ़ने जा रहा है वो यहाँ कर सकता है सर हाँ तो वो भी कर और साइड में थिएटर भी कर सर हाँ तो आ, सबसे बड़ा रोड ब्लॉक मेरा खुद का था कि मैं पढ़ाई में अच्छा था जो कि बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है तो मैं शॉर्ट नहीं एक्टर बनना चाहता हूँ पर आई थिंक मैंने पढ़ाई की और साथ में थिएटर किया बैकस्टेज किया चीज़ें सीखी और कहीं ना कहीं लोग मिलते गए और अपॉर्चुनिटीज आई और यू नो कि नाउ से आई द राइट प्लेस एट द राइट टाइम बट आई रियली वर्क हार्ड एट दैट पॉइंट सो थैंक यू वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन सिंस टाइम्स ऑफ एंड नकुल क्वेश्चन फॉर गर्ल फर्स्ट रो द लेडी सेकेंड सी कैन गेट द माइक टू हर प्लीज Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Mansi Abhiwar. So my question is from the Nakul sir. मैंने आपके इंटरव्यूज देखे थे. उसमें आपने बोला था डेट यहाँ पर तीन बहुत ही अमेजिंग पैनलिस्ट हैं. मेरे को बाहर मिलने ना इन इनका टाइम यूज़ करो. मेरे पास बहुत टाइम है. Actually, I am also want to become an actor. Okay, so Vinny and me. Yeah. 
कहा पढ़ा मैंने बोला सीजन में तो भी मैंने शायद ये शब्द यूज नहीं किया बट आई गेट वॉट यू से मीन यू टेक दिस फर्स्ट एक्शन यू बिकॉज आई डी नॉट फ्रॉम पर्सन या more regular actor so i huh. haven't had that context that she's saying but so i'll i'll i, I understand what she's saying i don't yeah, i'll go to you after this aap jo keh rahe hain bilkul sahi hai uh, i think mera sabse bada good fortune jo hai main is waqt ki i have the privilege of choosing when i want to work and what i want to work on and with whom i want to work for me the people are most important today ye 12 saal pehle na mere paas option nahi tha to jo mila maine kiya shiddat se aaj kyunki hai to main अगर डेढ़ साल जैसे मैंने बड़े अच्छे लगते पे काम कर रहा था उसके बाद मुझे अभी वक्त जो मिला है आई हैव गॉन बैक टू बिकमिंग अ फुल टाइम आई एम अ फुल टाइम फादर पेरेंट नाउ आई वांट से फुल टाइम फादर बिकॉज माय वाइफ विल टेल द ट्रूथ टू एवरीवन बट आई हैव गॉन बैक टू यू नो एंजॉय द जॉय इज व्हाट इट इज टू जस्ट स्पेंड टाइम विथ 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 योर विथ योर चाइल्ड वी स्पेंड अ लॉट टाइम टुगेदर पर इस वक्त को मैं आई आल्सो यूज आई फील यू आर नॉट एन एक्टर एंड यू आर वर्किंग अ Because you're a storyteller, because you're a you're a creative professional. I think you have to constantly work. It's it's like you know, लोगों को लगता है हमारी life बड़ी अच्छी है आप gym जाते हो, घर आते हो, Instagram पे अच्छी photos लगाते हो. उसके पीछे जो होता है ना, मैं आपको थोड़ा सा बताऊँगा मैं इसे मैं रोज़ सुबह जल्दी उठता हूँ. I have my own spiritual sort of thing which I do. So I, you know, I'm a Buddhist and I I chant. Uh, मैं मैं garden जाता हूँ और मैं या तो या तो सुबह कुछ पढ़ता हूँ. Uh, या सिर्फ अपने मन को घूमने देता हूँ आई मीन आई रैंडमली जस्ट लेट इट फ्लाई स्माइल एंड रैंडम स्ट्रेंजर्स इफ दे कम बट आई जस्ट स्पेंड टाइम विद नेचर वंस इन अ वाइल आई वर्क आउट देन द डेज इज यू नो आई वी डिसाइड व्हाट वी वांट टू डू विद चाइल्ड वन एक्टिविटी टुगेदर एंड देन जान एंड आई डू समथिंग टुगेदर देन आई अगेन डू समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू माई फील्ड ऑफ वर्क आई आई एम राइटिंग or i am listening to a podcast or i'm trying to understand how filmmaking you know one of my favorite directors or writers to apne aap ko busy rakho aur bombay mein na busy rakhne ke liye bahut si cheeze hain if you're an actor go to the zoo i'm going to take a job bhi kar rahe ho na yes. so continue aur jo bhi aapke job ke sath fit hota hai till you get that one opportunity that is worth kicking up your job for don't leave it but try and grab what you can chote 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 bits so it give you a better idea of you know whether you on the right track whether you want to continue with your corporate life or you want to be an actor ideally is best of both worlds is it true maybe really that the more people you meet the more inspired you get to what you what you really want to do i mean sort of you know absolutely i yeah. think like we have surmised that meeting people when you travel or meeting people jitne logo se aap zyada interact karoge apna aapko apne bare mein bhi utna hi samajh mein aayega because If you live in a box, Bubble. you cannot imagine anything. So it's good to be out working. You know, and uh, it just grows you as a person. Yeah. In last ten seconds, I look at sir. If you you don't mind, but I feel, I feel this generation, all of you, you're amazing. I wish we had all these opportunities. You're amazing. The only thing you have to really fight. is today there is so much validation and you live in social media social media yeah. i was going to say or sir zindagi mein na aap bahar jaane ka waqt hi nahi milta hai to aapka agar job bhi hai when you leave home and you get there i'm assuming you're doing public transport use that time to observe to listen dialects suno logo ko suno baat karo marathi samjho bahut cheez hai karne ke liye mumbai mein get out of social media for a bit and live life and that is going to be the greatest challenge for everyone in this room i think Yeah, I was just going to say that actually that that box, is the box of social media, with all its validation and everyone saying great work, guys, amazing, is never going to allow you to grow. So it's it 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 will be fantastic to create time outside of social media also for yourself as, to grow. And also as an actor, जितने लोगों को आप ज़्यादा observe करोगे और ये ना station उसके quirks क्या है वो अपने आँखों को कैसे किसी से बात करते हुए वो लिख you will keep these in your pocket and when you're playing a character you will you will think of that one person ki usne aise haath hilaya tha main wo is character mein dalu that is very important yeah i think we be great great uh, conversation uh, times up we have been chatted out uh, because the next session uh,
Thank you guys. I can see the audience has grown uh, to twice the size as the session has uh, gone on because the uh, word must have spread. And thank you for being patient and amazing. Thank you Webhav, thank you Sudeep, thank you Mini so much. Lovely meeting you for such a long time. Thank you Nakul uh, for doing this uh, with us. And uh, and yeah, picture do you want? Yeah, like, yes, yes, yes. Now my take a picture.